Now that we have a few geofences in our application, we got to the essence of the geofencing feature, which is the ability to track locations of geopoints in relationship to the geofences. When a location is being tracked, McAnalyst can issue three different events for any given geopoint. And these events are entering a geofence, meaning a geopoint crosses the boundary into a geofence, staying inside of the geofence for a certain period of time, and then leaving a geofence. For each of these events, the Canvas provides a way to configure actions. And this, these are individual columns that you can see here on the screen. So for instance, for Texas Stadium, or really any other geofence, you can configure an action when the geopoint enters that geofence, when it stays inside for a pre-configured period of time, or when it leaves the geofence. These actions that we allow to configure are sending a push notification, publishing a publish subscribe message, sending a custom event into a custom business logic, or calling on a URL. In order to configure an action, all you need to do is to select one of the actions in this dropdown. For instance, to configure sending out a publish subscribe message, select this option in the dropdown, and the pop-up shows up, which has all the configuration options required in order to configure a pop sub message publishing. And the bare minimum configuration would include configuring a channel name and the message body. Similarly, if you were to select any other action, you will get an appropriate pop-up. So this is the pop-up for calling on a URL, where you can select the command, specify the URL, optional request headers, and the body. Additionally, for all actions supported by Backendless, there are ways to configure various substitution variables. And these include contextual information for the specific geopoint that has triggered one of these actions.